guys, it's Keegan. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, how you doing? That's not it. Is it hi, how are you? Oh my god, I was trying to do the Jeffree Star thing and then I forgot it completely. Today we are going to be doing my everyday makeup routine. I used to do makeup videos all the time back just hit a mirror. I used to do makeup videos all the time back when I was like 13, 14, starting YouTube and then kind of stopped doing them as I got older. So I thought I would do my everyday makeup routine. I get a lot of comments saying that you guys like it. I try to go for like very natural clean skin with like lots of glow and pretty eyelashes. That's kind of like always been my thing. My hair is also wet because I just showered. We're going to get started. Not make this intro long because they always are. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should just. I'm just saying. In my little mirror right here. My first up is moisturizing. I've already done that. I use the clean Unique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. It's my favorite. Next thing I'm going in with is primer. This is a Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. Tati recommended this and I have been a hardcore Tati fan since like pre like by sisters like pre her even knowing James Charles. If she recommends something I'm like add that to my cart but then most of the time I'm like oh delete I can't afford that but this was something that she recommended a ton so I was like okay I have to get it. What is this? Ew. Bye sister. It like smooths out your face and I feel like it makes it look very very airbrushed i've never done this but if i wanted to i feel like i'd wear this on like a no makeup day to make my skin can you see the difference it kind of just like gets rid of like all the shine like this side is also shine this just looks very like smoothed out i feel like today's not the best example it puts like a filter on your face a little bit it went into face tune blurred out all the pores then it went into lightroom and put a filter on it to make your face look orange next step that i do is foundation and since i'm a little tan right now even though i'm like not even tan but like i'm tan i'm using the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation this has SBS so that's awesome I burn so easily and then I mix in the L'Oreal infallible pro glow because it's dark once upon a time I used to be this tan once upon a time I used to be tanner than this someone want to tell me how I will just mix these two because I'm not this shade and I'm not this shade this one's my favorite I feel like this one kind of makes me a little too oily so I'll just take a little squirt I always have to come in and get more but it's whatever and then this is just so liquidy that when it comes out it like squirt is it not gonna do it today like literally the one time I talk about how fast it comes out it's taking forever and I normally do like, oh, that was too much. <laughs> my bad. I just kind of mix in the back of my hand. So with this liquidy foundation, I normally just like to take my beauty blender and then just kind of like dip it into this and then go into my face and not dot it because I like to. But since I have some of that on my finger, I always just like have to dot it and just like... I'm using this Morphe sponge and I use the like rounded side right here to blend in my foundation. I think it's done but just to be safe <sighs> that was so gross i'm so sorry i didn't see that but i'm just gonna continue okay normally that like one pump and a few dots normally fill my entire face besides my forehead i always have to go for more and i have such a big forehead that it's like it's the size of china i swear it's kind of do a little more i'm gonna take what's ever left over and then go over my nose because i um <laughs> you know what I mean. My next step is concealer and I have very deep set creases under my eyes So no matter what concealer I try it creases on me I always think that like if I'm gonna be disappointed I might as well not spend a ton of money on it This is the concealer I use this is the Maybelline instant age rewind and I took off the little spongy cap thing because that always breaks me out Because of all the bacteria it has on it. Why is that thing? Oh, okay, okay I take a little bit This is more than I normally take because it's just like what's not coming out and I take some of that and I use the morphe m224 brush and then I will just take a little bit of it put it in a triangle down my face and I always go for a lighter shade and I always take some of my eyelids because I don't really wear eyeshadow or anything like that so I just like, want to make my eyelids not like bright pink and veiny since I was so distracted by my nose bleeding there's not a lot of coverage on my chin where I get most of my breakouts so I'm just gonna paint that and now I feel like I need to put a little bit right here because we want it to even out I don't normally put this much concealer on but I squirted a lot out by accident so I feel like I have to use all of it because I don't want to waste my money and my eyebrow really itches right now And I'm using the same beauty blender in the exact same side For powder I'm using Cody airspun powder and a ton of it like came out onto the little thing So I just kind of you know, whatever. I don't know where I'm going with that But I just tap out to make sure I don't have any creases which I probably do and it will still crease on me But I'm like why not try and I'll take the flatter edge and I start right here 
and then go up to my lash line. I made sure to powder that. And I'm gonna do it to the other eye as well. I grabbed way too much powder right there. This smells like an old lady. You know how like old ladies always smell kind of funky? It smells like a lot of those. And then I normally will pack this where I have acne and then I do it on my forehead. It's pretty much where I put my concealers where I like to have the center of this. I'm not trying to bake at all, but I'm kind of grabbing a little too much powder right now, but that's fine. It's whatever. And then I take a powder brush and I will just dip into this powder right here and I always it's literally flying everywhere it's like it's snowing and then I just powder the outsides of my faces just so whenever I put bronzer on it's not one little part powdery and one little part sticky from the foundation just so it all is the same texture as for bronzer I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer I also really like the Physicians Formula Butter bronzer but for some reason that's been turning me orange don't really know why I look like an Oompa Loompa are the Oompa Loompas orange is that what I'm thinking of I don't really know how I like to do this is kind of weird it's kind of like drawing a teardrop or drawing like the body of a fish but without the tail. I start where my ear starts and then I kind of go up onto my cheekbones a little bit and then I go right back down so I'm not touching. Wait, I need to start that over. Okay, I just kind of confused myself. So at the top of my ear and then I go down, I kind of brush it onto my cheeks right here. So I'm going a little bit up and then I'm going right back down so I'm not touching my cheekbones. And that kind of brings bronzeness to the center of my face, but not the high points of my face, like where I want my highlighter to be. Always hit my forehead. So I keep roasting myself today and calling it big. I also just got a piece of this in my mouth, like some of it just like dusted into my mouth. Bronzer always is the worst part. It just always looks really bad whenever I film makeup tutorials. I swear it normally looks good in person. I always like to take some like right here behind my ear because that part does not tan. And so I want it to match like my foundation and everything and it never does because it's just pale. I'm just going to take my powder brush and then just like, lightly graze over it. But it has no product on it, just like whatever was left like powder. And then I will also take my beauty blender that I just use. And I this has no product on it besides maybe what's ever left. And I'll take the part that I use, the concealer on and I just go like this and I don't know if you can see how much that cleaned it up but then I also just like to take it a little bit so it's not so sharp because I don't like it being sharp as for blush <laughs> don't know why I did that that was cringy this is the Rimmel maxi blush this is in sweet cheeks it's a really pretty coral color and I kind of start at my cheeks and I work my way out but when I start at my cheeks I do it very lightly I know that you could also start down and like kind of go out maybe i should be doing that i just kind of do whatever i want was that too much so recently i've been having a highlighter identity crisis oh my god there's people dying in this world and having a highlighter crisis i haven't really been knowing what highlighter works best on my skin tone now that it's changing a little bit because it's getting a little bit darker but it's also not as dark as it once was so i'm kind of like in between the things that i've been using is i have this little sample of the becca champagne pop highlighter i also have the big version but for some reason i'm more attracted to like the smaller one because i'm like it's so cute and little and then i also have the maybelline master chrome in molten rose gold i literally was like looking in the back for the name but like i wasn't even reading it i just know it because this is like my favorite thing ever this turned me pink one time and so i was just kind of like what the heck i don't really know i think today i'm gonna go with becca i feel like i want a new highlighter i just ugh. i also use a different highlighting brush like every single day i feel like i'm not tan enough for this color i always like to put a little bit like right there just like what's ever left the whole point of this look is to be glowy and i feel like i'm having an identity crisis with my glow i don't like how my eyes look very like blank there's no dimension since i put the concealer on it but i also like there's no like veins so i will just take my bronzer and a fluffy brush and i just swirl and i will just kind of like just sloppily just kind of like throw that into my crease just to give me like a little bit of dimension so it doesn't look so like stark white and i also like to put it on my lower lash line i feel like i look crusty whenever i don't something on my lower lash line like when it's a sharp like bright like concealer and then just like lower lash line mascara i feel like i look crusty not really the look that i want i also like to take what's ever left and just kind of drag it onto my eyelid does that look cute does that look good maybe not but at least I don't look crusty. So I get a lot of compliments on my eyebrows, which like makes me feel really good about myself. So thank you guys so much. First thing that I do is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I just use a spoolie and I just brush out my brows and shape them the way I want them to be. I forgot to mention this product never wants to pick up right here. So I feel like it always just stops right there. So I try bronze this area right here. So it doesn't look like it stops, but it never wants to like hold product there for some reason. Sorry, that was a side note. This is the Cover Out by Benefit. This is in number three. It's my favorite thing. If you guys have seen any of my 
old photos. They had done videos reacting to my old photos. The thing that contributed the most to my glow up was using darker brow products because I used to use brow products that were the same shade as my brows. Having a little bit darker brows just like makes me look hotter, okay? I need to like rest my elbow somewhere, but this is like way too high of an angle. I start out with the tail and then I work my way to the middle and I start filling that in. And I normally stop right here because I do have a pretty full like inner brow. What else I'll do is I'll take what's ever left and kind of shape out the arch. It's kind of hard because I don't have my elbow on anything. I do have like sparse spots in the center of my eyebrows so that's why I like to do that. And then my tail. I also have like really temperamental brow hairs. I used to have two. They just stuck straight out and I plucked them. I was like bye bye. My arches are never the same. My eyebrows are never. I can't they're never the same. My eyebrows are like third cousins three times removed so whatever. And I kind of brush them out again get them in the place that I want them to be distribute any product. My forehead itches now. What is wrong with me? Since I have really temperamental mental brow hairs. This is my favorite brow setter. It's a 24 hour brow setter by Benefit and I really like that it has a paddle on it. You can see it's really flat so I'll start. I'll brush up the top hairs and then I'll go all the way. I really like that it's not as spooly because I feel like sometimes I shape my brows the way I want them and then the thing just like freaking ruins it. And I take the paddle part and I just literally like just like apply product through the paddle and I'll take the little pointy ends kind of like put together like marry the brow hairs that want a divorce you're staying with each other they're definitely not even today oh my god the next thing I do is I set my face because I like to do that before I do my mascara so my mascara doesn't run I have two that I love so this one is the Urban Decay All Nighter if I need my makeup to stay on all day and then the next one is the Pixie Glow Mist this I have very mixed reviews about it in my head because I think it makes your skin look so beautiful. By the end of the day, your makeup kind of looks like it's like coming off your skin. And also, this is not something that you want to use if you're going to be like in the heat outside because again, your makeup's going to like kind of melt because there's oils in this. You're going to be inside all day like I am most of the time. You don't need your makeup to last like 24 hours or even like 12 hours. This is so good. This makes my makeup look so dewy and just like gorgeous. It also smells weird, a good weird, but it doesn't taste good. Mascara I use is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. I personally prefer the waterproof one, but I have the non-waterproof one here. And then I take my Tarte Eyelash Curler, which this thing is like literally Satan. I'm not kidding because it always rips out my eyelashes, but like I'm not about to buy another one because I'm poor. <gasps> That is the completed makeup look. I feel like they always look worse when I film them because I don't have my like fancy bougie mirror here so I don't really know exactly what I look like because this mirror kind of sucks. No offense. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you should because I like to stalk you guys and I do that quite frequently. If you want to be stalked, follow me. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!